All right. So this have, is usually the prettiest time of year in exactly. Seattle, right? Exactly. Yeah, lots of clear sky, sunshine, mm -hmm. but they're dealing with all that haze. All right. So here in Southern California, we're looking at some changes mm. that monsoonal moisture is starting to creep back into the area. But overall, it's still really nice outside. Just a little bit hazy, depending on where you live. Live look right now at Catalina Island. This is Avalon Bay looking really nice. So this morning, we had some of that marine influence, and some of the clouds went inland, but a lot of it mixed out nicely. But again, we're still left with just a little bit of haze depending on where you live. So this is our Long Beach camera right now. Here's a look at those temperatures. Still feeling pretty comfortable looking at temperatures in the low 80s for the valley, 76 for the beaches, 86 for the Inland Empire. And we do have some clouds floating up above, uh, creating some haze for our beach communities. Well, starting today through t uh, Friday night, that is, we are looking at bigger than normal waves because of a southern hemisphere swell that's moving in. So waves anywhere from three to six feet from Ventura County all the way down to San Diego County, mainly for the south facing beaches. So during this time, if you plan on heading to the coast, you want to camp out closer to a lifeguard because we have dangerous rip currents, we have sneaker waves, and we also have that elevated surf I was telling you about. And near the coast, we're also looking at some breezy conditions. Some of that sea breeze continues to push in, but that high pressure system is still to the east of us. So it's slowly working its way back over, and that's also what's pulling in some of that monsoon moisture that we were talking about uh, early this week. So you could see a lot of that activity right now at the California Arizona border near the Yuma area. We're starting to see some lightning and also very unstable air. So a lot of this could potentially move in and we could see those afternoon and also early evening thunderstorms and showers. We can't rule it out, especially for the far east deserts and then also in the higher elevations for the mountains. So increasing monsoon flow till tomorrow and then as that high pressure system gets closer by the end of the week, we're looking at much more of that drier air that we're used to. And also as that high pressure system gets closer, we're also going to start to feel a little bit more of that heat so it gets a little bit hotter once we head into the weekend. But right now that monsoon moisture makes it feel a little bit sticky depending on where you live. And then we're also going to see the chance for those afternoon and evening thunderstorms. So with that high pressure system, it's going to continue to expand westward over towards Southern California. So again, drier air and warmer conditions from Friday on into Sunday. So pretty much for the weekend highs today, just a little bit warmer than yesterday. Yesterday, we finally topped out at near normal status. So today, probably about the same, maybe just a little bit warmer. 94 for San Bernardino, 91 for Corona, 93 for Ontario, 87 for West Covina and mid 90s for the San Fernando Valley in Manhattan. Beach. We're also looking at a high of 78. So here's a look at our next seven days. So again, temperatures getting hotter. So we're looking at the triple digits reappearing for the valley starting Friday. And it looks like it's going to stay that way till the beginning of this upcoming week as a high pressure system continues to linger with us. But that monsoon moisture definitely shuts off once we head into Friday. Back to you. All right. Just in time for the weekend. Amber, thank you.